All right, guys, you're here with Ohio Fish Rescue. As you guys know, we've been very busy these last few weeks. For one, we had new tanks coming in. We have tanks cycling, waiting for more fish. Um, pond plants are growing. However, getting back to the 2200 gallon tank, I'm gonna take you guys in there and show you what's going on there for a minute. But first, I wanted to give you guys a little update on the pond. There's Mr. Turtle, the big uh, musk turtle from Vincent Wu. We did add in uh, this uh, carp to the, the pond, but as you guys can see, the pond is doing really, really well. The plants are really starting to take off. I don't know if you guys can decipher there, but there's plants all over the place. We've got banana palms, elephant ears, pothos, creeping jenny, uh, elephant ears, arrowheads, um, just all different kinds of stuff. But getting back to the 2200, I'm gonna take you in here, give you guys a little bit of update on what's been going on with it. Now, last you guys knew, the tank was full of water. I had just got the plumbing in, the sump was filled, and it had stopped leaking, and that, that was about it. So, recently I went ahead and added a few fish to it, and it's been sitting full with fish for about a month now. We went ahead and added this black dot diamond ray. This was came to us from what well, one of our buddies. He got got out, out of fish and he wanted us to take his ray. That's a nice, beautiful black diamond male. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the 2200 is clearing up nice. Um, here, let me go over here. Now, keep in mind, this is our albino tank. So we have the Chinese wells. I'd say he's a good two foot, but he's super fat. There's my hand net next to him. He's a big fat boy. Right here is an albino channel cat. Nice and white, super fat. As you can tell, our fish do eat, eat well. <laughs> um, back there we have an albino ear doesn't shark. He's, you know, close to two foot. But looking ahead, what we plan to do with this tank is go ahead and put the whole bottom of the tank with solid black porcelain tiles. So that's 15 foot or 16 foot by six by three foot tall. And we're going to go ahead and put it all put all the whole bottom with solid black tile and we are going to upgrade the lighting on this tank because we're not too happy the lighting we have on it makes the water look a little bit tinted green but it's what we have right right now we're gonna go ahead and buy some new lighting to go ahead and get these fish to pop so we'll have a carpet of black rays we will have nothing but albino fish now we haven't decided, we might go ahead and throw some xanthic fish in there and make it just a color morph tank. If we went ahead and did, did that, um, for, for one, we're gonna go ahead and add this uh, giant gourami. Um, let me go ahead and find them. If you look back there, I uh, can't really see them. Let me go around the, the other side. We have a xanthic clown knife about 18 inches. So if we go that route, we can throw him in there. We do have another albino Chinese wells. So they might go, go in there. Um, let me go over here and see what else albino we plan on going in there. Oh my God, look at this guy. This little albino ray came to us from Kevin at Stingray Biology and Rodrigo from Predatory Fins. Now if you guys remember, during the Monster Fish release, we had a surprise package come in the, the, the mail and this little baby albino pearl showed up. This thing is getting absolutely fat. He is gorgeous and I can't wait to see how he turns out. Alright, so getting back to it. Oh, over here you guys have not seen. We did, I went ahead and bought my dad some albino 
Silver Arowana. They are about seven to eight inches. That one's seven. The bit bigger one's about eight. So we're going to go ahead and grow them out and put them in that there as well, part of the albino tank. We have a smaller 10-inch uh, clown knife here. Look at him. He is just gorgeous. And we have him in here with, you know, endotarpin, the brachioplatystoma filamentosum. He's getting absolutely massive. And his streamers are about 15 inches right now. That is just gorgeous. We've got the royal clown knife in there. Now, this guy right here is a 15-inch uh, African arowana. We had him in a tank by himself because uh, he would eat nothing but brine shrimp. So I said, you know what, let's just throw him in a community and see if he eats. Little did we know, less than 30 seconds of throwing him in here, he's eating pieces of shrimp, pieces of tilapia, little bits of pieces of crushed up food that's on the bottom from us feeding these bit bigger guys and he's just going to town. So everything's just working out. We do have uh, smaller uh, xanthic clown knives in here. They're probably about eight inches or so. Um, but let me go ahead and take you over here and we can show you some other fish that might be going into the albino tank. Actually, you know what? Give, give me a second. Let me go ahead and turn on some lights here. I'll be right back. Now, I haven't decided yet, but if we go ahead and stick with the, the BDs, we do have a couple in the, the actual the, the big pond, but the, these are grow-out BDs that we plan on breeding. Uh, these guys are just astounding. So we might go ahead and throw the, these guys in there. Um, we do have two, two of the tigrinus. We might throw a couple of them in there. There goes another smaller albino channel cat. But if you come over here to the 4,400 4, 4, gallon, we have a two foot albino clown knife. He's going to go, go in there. Now I don't want to throw the Paku in there because he might, you know, eat the air hoses, eat cords, eat plants. And I want to be able to decorate that tank a little, little bit. So I think the albino paku are either going to stay here or go into the 58,000 gallon pond. Now a few additions to this tank we picked up. This guy came in as a rescue. We, we did throw, throw this uh, mono pe peacock bass in the 4400. Um, we went ahead and threw the prune sharks from the 1,000 gallon in here because they were getting a little bit too big for, for the 1,000 gallon. So we went ahead and threw both of them in here. So they got a little bit, bit of an upgrade. We did take some load off of this 1,000 gallon. We did add that small little African arrow from the 180 in there. He's doing pretty good in here. Oh, that, there you guys go. There is the three foot tire track eel. He, he was also do donated to us by uh, Rick for, for Ferguson. He, he was a little bit too, too big for his tank and he felt bad for him. So he came up and he brought this tire track eel as a present. So he gets to live out his life in this 1,000 gallon with the rest of the eels. There's about four of the eels in here. Here's a black spotted eel. He's about two foot. But the other, oh, look at Pittsburgh. He's always up for a photo op. How you doing, buddy? But other than that, the only other new addition in this tank would be this cigar barb. He came all the way from Nebraska. Now, if you guys come over to the pool, we do have this three foot platinum red tail that will be going into the 2200 as well. But here, let me show, show you guys something. Let me grab some food real quick. Look at this Arapaima. Oh, <laughs> big boy. He is getting, he's getting huge. He eats pellets daily, shrimp, tilapia daily. We feed him three times a day. When we come up to the pond, he comes running. Look at all that red in his tail. He's going to be beautiful. He's just about ready to get thrown into the 58,000 gallon pond. But 
I think that is enough for, for this vid video. We are signing off, and I will catch you guys next time. I'll talk to you later.